Hi guys, welcome back to Yaya's Craft House. So today I thought we would check out the new Mini Brands Create Balls. Um, so in our first ball, we got some whipped cream. It's a cute container. And this is a glaze. I think it's like a strawberry glaze. Next we have some fruit. There's a little mixture of fruit. I moved to this grass because I didn't like the lighting with the white background. In this bag we have a little plate, the tweezers, and we also have the little stand. In this bag, we have the instructions and this little orange square. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a coaster, maybe. I, I don't know. Here's everything that we could get and make. And then if you turn it over, it shows you what you actually got. Uh, we got the little tart set and it has the directions on how to make it. These are the little tart shells. It came with this little tray and a little like pie server spatula thingy. These little shells are really cute. Normally I don't like to put the resin on my minis, mainly because I like to keep them separate so I can, can use them in different ways. So the instructions say to start by putting a base layer down of the whipped cream. And then we're going to put the fruit in and just kind of sporadically put it around on top of the whipped cream. Now we're going to take the little glaze and put it on. One thing I will say about these are, for the resin, the lids don't screw on tight. These little, I don't know what you call them, the little spout lids, they don't screw on tight. So as you can see here, if you squeeze too hard, the lid pops off. So I ended up just leaving the lid off and uh, using it that way. I, I then used the little tweezers to spread it around to uh, until I had it how I liked it. Here they are after I held them under the little light. I think it said you're meant to hold them under there for 20 minutes. Most of these I only did for like two minutes. Some were still a little sticky, but they do dry on their own. I, I just personally don't have 20 minutes to sit and hold each one of these. Time for ball number two. We got some little roast potatoes. A knife, the little stand, and a fork. This is like a tomato, reduced tomato sauce. Uh, to me, it looks like ketchup. And then the other resin is like a little gravy sauce. This is the container that the meat came in. And we got a plate. Here's the little instruction manual. And it looks like we got the it's like ham and roast potato meal. I think the ham is really cute. It was really bendy. I 
I know you're meant to put this on the plate, but I'm actually gonna make the little meal in this container. And I think if I can get the sticker off, it would look really cute like a little takeout meal. So I put the ham back into the container and I'm just going to pour the potatoes on the side. And then we're going to take the tomato reduction resin and it says to put a little on the pork chops. You'll see when it comes out, it looks straight up like ketchup. Then I'm gonna take the little sauce, like the gravy, and put it all around the potatoes and around the ham. And then I stuck the little herb thing in there and held it under the light. When I started filming this video, I only had the two balls, but I did make another trip back to Target and I got two more. In this one, we got some little cherries. There's uh, like half cherries and cherries with the stem on it. We got some little chocolate cakes and a little pie cake server. Here's the little cakes. In this bag, we have the little stand tweezers. the cake plate and a, a smaller plate. This one has the instructions and that orange square. In this bag we got some sprinkles, but you'll notice there's only like 12 sprinkles in the, in the whole jar. And we also got the whipped cream and the chocolate sauce. So the instructions say to put down a layer of the whipped cream. I wasn't neat about it. I did use the, the tweezers to kind of smooth it out and make it even. And then you take the halved cherries and place them around the edge. After that, you cure it with the light. And then you come back with more whipped cream in the middle, and then you're gonna put your other cake on top. That whipped cream will hold it together. Next, you take the little chocolate sauce and put it on top. I again use the tweezers and kind of smeared it around. And then we're gonna take our like 10, 12 sprinkles and put them on top. And then we're gonna use our light to cure it. Next, we're going to take the whipped cream and make little poofs all around the top of the cake. I believe there are meant to be seven of them. Now mine weren't neat by any means. The, the white stuff was kind of getting sloppy at this point. It wasn't holding its shape as well. But as long as you get them in little mounds, when you put the cherries in, you can kind of push them down. And I think it looks, I think it looks good anyway. On to our last ball. In our first bag, we got the little stand, a little trifle dish, some shoe pastry, and the tweezers. In this bag, we got the resins, and one is a glaze, the other is a chocolate sauce.
here's our square of cardboard again and our instructions. And lastly, we got some fruit and a spoon. Here's what we're going to be making. It is a little shoe pastry trifle kind of dessert thing. I love the little dish. I think it's adorable. I also really love this bag that the shoe pastry came in. I'm so keeping it and reusing it in the dollhouse. So the first step is to put the shoe pastry in the dish and then we're going to take the glaze and put it on top of them. It was kind of hard to get out of the bottle. Then we take our fruit and stick it around the shoe pastry. Then it has to be cured. Next, we're gonna take our chocolate sauce and put it all around. I, I didn't use too much, mainly because I didn't wanna cover up the dessert. And lastly, I stuck the little green leaf on and cured it. Let me know down below if you have tried out the Mini Brains Create and what you think of them.